All right, so got up at about 5.30 this morning to get ready and head to Fort Myers. Now, I'm gonna jump on a Dorado, which is a boat I've never been on before. So I'm actually not even sure what model we're gonna jump on, but we're gonna do some fishing, uh, grab some lunch, and I'm gonna show you as much as I can about that boat as uh, I learn about it myself. So we wanna do more of this. We wanna jump on with more manufacturer boats, uh, more dealer boats, just boats we haven't been on. So if you are a manufacturer, a dealer, or just a regular boat owner that wants to do a little fishing or show off your boat, reach out to us here, leave a comment, um, contact us at support at centerconsolesonly.net and we're gonna try to make that happen. 2021, it's gonna be a big year and an increase in content is the way to do that. So I'm gonna bring you guys along. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's have some fun today. nice parts about traveling a little bit to check out different marinas and stuff it's really expanding your horizons seeing uh the scenic landscapes that are out here that we don't see that much in south florida obviously we got our nice parts too but check out this bridge and backdrop i'm going to show you here in a minute so we're here in puno razo that's sanibel causeway right there check out our ride for the day i'm going to show this baby in action and get into as much detail as possible as we can today so it should be a lot of fun beautiful weather cooler than i expected but we can handle it so here's a first look at the interior of the dorado 25 flat deck with second station really cool color combination on this one Take a quick look around. Got good, great space here. Dual pitch wells. Bow trolling motor. They have another one on the transom as well. Huge forward deck box with actuator made to hold a frigid rigid coffin box. Eric's doing the honors today. Large transom well, Mercury 350 Rotto, twin power poles on this one. Got another leaning post live wall there as well. Very well set up for fishing as they're going to show us today. Well, let's have at it. What are we going after here? Uh, we got a bunch of scale sardines commonly known as white bait. Uh, we catch around the bridge this time of year. So, seems like you got some. Got them. Got enough to definitely get us started with. Oh, hell yeah, jeez. One cast, all it takes around here. Nicely done, sir. Thank you. So a cool feature with this boat, with this live wall system is the whole entire live wall flips up. So when you're transferring bait or if you're dumping your cast net, you've got a big area, you know, opens up nice and big, you can dump, and then you got the small hatch door you can get in and out of and still be able to scoop your bait without having to forward up and down every single time. That's awesome. This is 63 gallons here under the leaning post. And another 60 here, which Eric loaded up with a single cast using his Barracuda 12 foot cast net.
really don't like eating much over about 10 pounds. Yeah, that's a, that's a good fish. Yep. Keeper triple tail on a live shrimp on the Dorado 25. Beautiful fish right on the buoy. That was exciting stuff, man. Thank you. Cast that far past him when he's about maybe 10 or 15. There he is. There he goes. He hit it, swam at you. Yeah, little guy. Oh, good good even, yeah. He didn't have to hold he it. Couldn't, he mouth. couldn't even put that whole <laughs> thing in his mouth. Nice release. All right, so that was actually really cool. We're able to find some of these pods out here. The buoys for uh, traps, stone crab traps. I don't know, lobster traps. Um, Saw triple tail. Eric was able to spot it from the second station. Got a live shrimp. Got him after a few casts. Was able to hopefully get that on the drone. Not sure if we caught it, but we got a fish in the boat. It was over 18. Very cool. I'm gonna take a look into the bilge area here real quick. You see a nice space access for a 25 foot bay boat. Easy to get to everything. And then you got your insulated boxes, fish boxes on either side. Right there, hold the ice. They got a triple tail, nice and chilled, ready for the dinner, dinner table. Let's take a look at these pitch wells. You can see this is a very nice feature. Have your shrimp, your live bait up at the bow where the majority of fishing is happening. You don't have to go back to the larger wells and grab them each time. They got them on e either side. You can hook one up, put the rod in the rod holder, get ready for action at all times here. So as you can see, this forward hatch has an actuator. This one has a frigid, rigid coffin box, which is an option. Even with that box on there, you can lift 450 pounds with that actuator and get to all your gear underneath. It's a really nice feature. For those of you wondering, a Dorado 25 flat deck like this one is in the roughly mid 100 uh, range and price wise if you're uh, looking for something like this. You can get into one in the low 100s, more base model, but once you rig it out here, second station, this one has a 350 Dorado and more of the bells and whistles, you get more into that 150, 160K range. Upper Captiva, accessible by boat only. Absolutely awesome in here. So there's a quick exterior look, besides the drone footage. Just stopped at this little island here, North Captiva. Grab some lunch. Tell you what, first time here, this is a Really cool looking little spot. They say the food is phenomenal, so we'll find out in a second. private island you can only access by boat we ate at a small restaurant there this place is known for their shrimp so I went for that shrimp tacos absolutely amazing guys had grouper sandwiches excellent experience and absolutely beautiful atmosphere out here
right, so as you can see, we're doing about 33 miles per hour, burning 3.2, we're doing 3.3 a second ago. Oh, we got 3.3 there. Very fuel efficient on this 25 Dorado. All right, so there's one thing we all love to see, and that's a fuel efficient boat. This has a 350 uh, Mercury Verado. Uh, we're doing 33 miles per hour, more or less, burning about 3.3 miles per gallon. This one in particular tops out at about 55, but the fuel economy, absolutely fantastic. Here we have the best view in the house up on the second station. Unbelievable view from up here. Vantage point is amazing doing this inshore type fishing. Eric was able to spot those triple tail from a distance and went to an oyster bar here apparently look for snook and redfish. Chum's working on the seagulls. Oh, dude, the turns are a nightmare. <laughs> all right, so we came up to a bit of a sand oyster bar here, and all Eric did was deploy the power poles, as you see behind me. Grab some of those white baits, live chumming, and then just throwing some lines right towards that sandbar area, letting the current take it towards land, and we just sit back and wait. Clean up that triple tail. Check this thing out. Like a macerator here. Nicest cleaning table I've seen in a while. Good blaze right there. Well, it's always fun to get out on these boats. Uh, blessed to be able to do what we do. And uh, this is a great group here with Dorado. Had a lot of fun with them. Weather was perfect beautiful boat all around the customization part of part of it is incredible you can even move hatches if you want every boat is built exactly how you want it so very good riding boat has that porta bracket in the back fuel efficient and we're planning already kind of talking about maybe getting back here again another day soon and jumping with eric once again on his new boat so stand by for that it'll have a 450r on it so should be interesting to see thank you guys again subscribe to our channel if you find value in these videos and we'll see you again very soon Well, not sure if you can see me very well here, but uh, I'm on my 310th mile today, driving up to Fort Myers from Miami and now back. Hit a little bit of traffic, but not too bad. Uh, this is part of what makes this stuff great, man. And we appreciate the opportunity to do what we do and we'll, we'll make the effort all day and every day to make sure we get the best content throughout the boating industry out to you guys. So. Thank you always for watching. We hope you subscribe to our channel. That's the one thing we ask. That helps us tremendously. That's how we keep this going. So subscribe to our channel, share it to as many friends, family, anyone that's interested in the boats that you see. Let them know who Center Consoles Only is. That's the help we ask for from you and we'll continue doing what we do. So thanks again, guys. This is Alan with Center Consoles Only. Out until next time. See you soon.